Vincent University winning their fourth national title in the NJCAA. One coach will have his life turned around forever. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to episode 20 of this Brian Davis Legacy. In this episode, we are going to be taking on Austin P University, and hopefully we can continue our winning ways. We only have five games left in the OVC. Let's go ahead and take a look at the standings. Currently, we're second at 10 and 5. Tennessee State is ahead of us at 10 and first, 10 and 4. Southeast Missouri at 10 and 5. Tennessee Martin at 9 and 7. Jacksonville State at 8 and 7. And Samford at 7 and 8 with Tennessee Tech at 7 and 8 as well. But like I said, we are going to take on Austin P. And so, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the game. Hello and welcome back to Eastern Illinois Basketball as they get ready to take on Austin P University. And they travel down to Austin P as this is their second meeting against the Governors. Eastern Illinois comes in at 17 and 6, Austin P at 7 and 13 on the year. Eastern Illinois looking to Get back into first place in the OVC while Austin P is just hoping for an invitation to the tournament. Starting five for your Panthers are Burke, Castro, Coleman, Clayza, and Marks. Reynolds has the ball, guarded by Burke, over to Bean. Bean to Maholland. Maholland to Bean. Bean, guarded by Castro. We'll kick it over to Reynolds. Reynolds to Maholland for three. No good rebound. Evans. Evans to Wingate. And almost stolen away. Reynolds has it. A fresh 30 to go. Reynolds has it. Guarded by Burke. Over to Bean. Down to the Wingate. Wingate backs down. Shot is up. No good rebound by Clayza. Clayza up ahead to Coleman. Coleman will drive. He will slam it. No, but a foul on Reynolds. His first team's first. As we get ready to shoot a couple free throws here, Coleman. His first one is up and good. EIU has the early lead. Not even a minute into the game. Second foul shot. Rattles around, finally falls, and it's 2-0 EIU. Austin P gets it to Reynolds. Stolen away by Coleman. Coleman will go to Burke. Layup, good. Just like that, 4-0 Eastern Illinois. Reynolds, stolen by Burke. Burke lays it up and in. And just like that, Eastern has a 6-0 lead as Evans finally gets it up past half court, guarded by Castro. To Mahal and to Bean. Bean has it, guarded by Coleman. Top of the key. Mulholland gets it to Wingate. Wingate backs down Clayzo, lays it up. And in. And that snaps a 6-0 run. Burke has it up past half court to Coleman. Coleman drives baseline and will kick it out to Clayza to Marks. Swings it all the way to Castro who lays it up and in. 8-2 Panthers and this is the kind of start Coach Davis wanted. Evans has it past half court now. To Wingate to Reynolds. Gets it down low to Evans. Lays it up and in. Got behind the defense and an easy two for, Af or for Austin P. Burke drives left-hand side, tries to get it into Coleman. Clayza has it to Marks. And that's stolen away by Bean. Bean off of an Eastern Illinois player will get it back. Gets it down low to Maholland. Maholland to Reynolds for three. Got it. They're going to say it's a two, though. So it's 8-6, but a quick timeout by Coach Davis. After starting this game on a 6-0 run, it's been a 6-2 run for Austin P. As Lada and uh, Kenalaitis check into the game for your Panthers. Burke has it up. On the left-hand side, gets it. And will re reset to Castro. Castro to Burke to Coleman. Coleman trying to find a spot in that 2-3. Gets it to Kenalaitis. Back out to Coleman to Lada. To Burke, to Coleman. Coleman drives baseline. Kicks it out to Lada, to Castro. Castro for three. 
In and out, no good. Rebound by Mullen. Stolen away by Castro. Castro slams at home. 10-6 Panthers after Castro's got the pickpocket. Bean has it up past half court. He'll shoot a three. No good. Rebound Canaleas. Up ahead to Burke. Two minutes left to go in this first half. Burke drives all the way to the baseline. Puts it up. No rebound by Bean. Bean up ahead of Reynolds. Reynolds has it. Top of the key. and He'll reset the offense. Guarded. Three ball by Bean. Got it. And it's a one-point lead by Eastern Illinois. Burke has it down low to Coleman. Coleman spin. Hook shot. No rebound by Milan. Up ahead to Reynolds. Reynolds guarded by Burke. Over to Milan to Wingate. Wingate has it to Bean. To Milan. To Reynolds. As there's 16 on the shot clock. Top of the key is Reynolds. Over to Bean. Bean to Wingate. Turnaround shot. No good. Rebound Malone. They get a fresh 35. Bean to Reynolds and he'll reset the Austin P offense. Reynolds takes a 16 footer. Good. And Austin P has their lead for the first time tonight. 11 to the 10 is the score. Austin P has outscored the Panthers 11 to 5. Or 11 to 4 in the last three minutes. As Meade has it up past half court, drives left side all the way to the baseline, lays it up. No good rebound by Bean. Bean up ahead of Mulholland. Mulholland to Bean. Gets it down low to Markham and he'll slam it. And Austin P has a three point lead with 35 seconds left to go in this game. Meade has it up past half court, all the way to the baseline. He'll lay it up. No, but a foul on Evans. So Eastern Illinois can cut this lead down to one with the clock stop. 32.6 left. First foul shot off the front part of the rim and in. 13-11, Austin P leads. 32 seconds left. Second foul shot rattles around and falls. 13-12, now Austin P leads. They get it over to Evans. Evans down low to Markham. Markham to Tafo. Tafo guarded by Castro. Shot clock is turned off. Tafo gets it to Bean. Bean. Guarded by Meade. Over to Mulholland. Ten seconds left to go in this ball in this first half. As Evans gets it to Bean. Bean shot is up. Good. And Coach Davis has to call another timeout with 4.3 left to go. First half, Marks will check out. Meade will check back in. Or Marks checks in, Meade checks out. I don't think that's what they wanted, especially since Marks was in the point guard spot. Lada gets it up ahead of Marks to Catalaeus. Catalaeus. Coleman shot is up. No good, and that is how Eastern Illinois ends the half. They started on a 6-0 run. It's been all governors since. 15-12 is the halftime score. Eastern Illinois will get the ball to start the second half. Burke has it. Drives right hand side. Burke. Now back to the top of the key. 2-3 zone for Austin P. Castro for three. Got it. Big time shot by Castro. And we're knotted up at 15. Reynolds up ahead of Evans. Evans breaks the press easily. Guarded by Castro to Wingate to Reynolds. Reynolds. Three ball. Wide open. Nothing but net. Burke has it up past half court now. Down by three. Burke all the way to the ten. Lays it in. 18-17 on his awesome P's lead. Wingate has it. Breaks the press. And Reynolds will reset the offense. Bean has it on the right wing. Download Evans. Evans guarded by Marks. Backs it out to the three point to Bean. To Malala and to Reynolds. Reynolds, he'll shoot a three. Short, no good rebound. Wingate. Wingate lay reverse lay in is good. And it's back to a three point lead to Austin P. 
Under 350 left to play. Burke gets all the way to the 10 again and leaves it in again by Burke. And that's going to be our State Farm drive of the game as Burke was able to go coast to coast, lay it off the 10. Bean up ahead to Evans. Evans has it guarded by Castro to Reynolds. And Reynolds will reset this governor offense. Bean has it. Spin move. Gets it in low to the paint. Kicks it out to Reynolds. With 16 on the shot clock. Evans has it. We're at 320 to play in the game. Austin P shoots a three. No good rebound. Castro. Eastern can take the lead with a bucket. Castro drives all the way. He lays it up in it, and just like that, Eastern Illinois ties it back up. Castro has nine. Bean has it. Bean, three. In and out, no good. Rebound, Coleman. Coleman up ahead of Burke. Under three to play. Eastern up by one, 21-20. Burke, crazy shot is up. No, but a foul on Wingate. That's his first. Team's first. 254. Let's reset it. Austin P 20. Eastern Illinois, 20 Two after the free throw. Eastern Illinois can extend this to a three-point game after Austin P has really had all the momentum in this fir late first half, early second half. Bean breaks the press. He's going to dribble it. Gets it to Reynolds at the top of the key and they'll reset the offense. Reynolds drives left, gets it to Wingate. Wingate backs down. Klaza lays it up and in. With 2.33 left to go, Burke has it up past half court, up by one. And Burke will reset this offense. Burke to Castro for three. No good rebound. Marks tipping. No rebound Evans. Over to Bean and now Austin P can take the lead again. Reynolds has it, top of the key. Gets it low to Bean. Bean to Wingate on the block. Turnaround jumper is good. After a roll around a little bit, as we hit the 204 mark in this game, Austin P has the lead again at 24 23. Burke has it. He will try to drive to baseline. No. Rejected. Gets it out to Marks. Marks has it on the right wing. Gets it to Burke. Burke has it. Will kick it to Coleman. Coleman down low to Klaza. Klaza. Coleman marks to Burke. Burke, Castro, three ball, bullseye. And just like that, EIU leads by two, gets the steal. Castro lays it up. No, rebound by Mulholland up ahead to Reynolds. Reynolds has it up ahead to Wingate. He'll slam, no, foul on Klaza. With 128 left, Austin P can tie this game with both made free throws. Wayne Gates' first one is good. Lotto will check in for Klaza. 26-25 is Eastern Illinois' lead. As we get ready for the second foul shot, and it is good. We're all tied up at 26. Roughly a minute and a half left to go. We're all tied at 26. Lotta gets the inbound pass to Burke. Burke will drive right side all the way to the baseline. Reverse, no, but a foul on Wingate. His second team's second. And Burke will go to the free throw line. Burke can it can give the Panthers the lead again with a made free throw. 122 left to go in this game. And he does. Jacobson and Meade come in for Coleman and Castro. Burke has one more shot. His second shot is up, and nothing but twine. 28-26, Eastern Illinois leads. 122 left to go. Bean has it, and breaks the press easily as Evan now controls it. Up ahead to Wingate to Reynolds. Reynolds, down low to Evans. His shot is up. In and out, no good rebound. Bean, his shot is up. No good rebound by himself again. And he'll kick it to Wingate. Jumper off the bank, and in. Tied at 28 with a 105 left to go in this game. Lotta gets it up ahead to Burke. One minute left, and Burke drives baseline. He has it, lays it up, and in! And Eastern Illinois reclaims the lead at 30-28. to 28. As Austin P has called timeout, we'll see what Coach Davis does. 
Marks comes out. Canelias comes in. And it's 30-28 in favor of the Panthers. Reynolds has it. Gets it up ahead to Bean. Bean, guarded by Meade. Gets it down low to Reynolds. Lays it up and in. And Reynolds has nine, and we're tied with 51 seconds left. Burke has it. He dribbles past one defender. Can't get to the baseline. Kicks it out to Jacobson. Jacobson to Meade. Bean. Meade will try to drive inside. No rebound by Evans. Evans to Reynolds, and he'll get up past half court. We're at 31 seconds left going this ball game, and a tie ball game at 30 at that. Bean has it top of the key. They're going to hold for one last shot. Three second differential between shot and game clock. So even if they miss, Eastern Illinois more than likely will have a possession as Wingate has it on the right block. Mulholland for three. Got it. Just like that, 11.4. This gem is rocking as Burke has it. He'll shoot a three. And he quiets the crowd. Big three by Burke. Tied at 33, 7.1 left to go in this contest. Buckle up, folks. We might be heading to overtime as Jacobson and Meade come out. Castro and Coleman come in for the Panthers. Reynolds has it. Up past half court. He'll get one good look at it. Evans, turnaround jumper. No, off the back of the iron. And we head to overtime once again. As the Panthers tie tie it with an with a three in the closing seconds, we'll head to free basketball. Three minutes on the overtime clock, as Reynolds has it. Reynolds controls it. First possession belongs to the Governors. Mulholland has it. Gets it down low to Reynolds. His reverse is short. No good rebound by Castro. Up ahead to Burke, and Burke will kick it. Drive left-hand side. Gets it to Coleman. Coleman wide open. Kicks it over to Castro. Three. No. Rebound marks. And he is fouled by Reynolds. Third team foul by Austin P. Still tied at 33. With 2.33 left to go. Burke has it in between the circles. Burke to Castro. To Marks. Gets it down low to Kleza. Clayza to Marks, to Burke, swings it to Coleman. Coleman shot is up, good, and one as the foul is on Mulholland. Eastern Illinois can take a three-point lead here with 2.17 left to go in the overtime, and they do. 36-33, 2.17 left to go in overtime. Bean has it, top of the key, a little offset. Wingate to Reynolds. Reynolds down low to Bean. His shot is rejected by Coleman, but they say Coleman got a little bit of an arm. Two shots coming up for Bean. He can cut the Austin P deficit to one with both made free throws. First one is good as Burke will check out for Meade. Burke getting a well-deserved rest as he tied it with seven seconds left. Bean's second foul shot is good. And we have a timeout on the floor. Austin P trails 35-36. Eastern Illinois has it. Drives left-hand side is Meade. He'll kick it down low. And it's stolen away by Wingate up to Malalan. Malalan has it. Gets it down low to Reynolds. He'll lay it up. No. Offensive rebound by B. No. He got his own rebound again and lays it up and in. And he has a nine. Austin P now has the lead as Meade. Bust through everybody and he'll lay it up and in. And just as I say it, Eastern Illinois reclaims the lead. Reynolds almost has the ball stolen away. Gets it up ahead to Bean. Bean has it now. Guarded by Castro. Bean will reset this Austin P as we hit a minute 30 left to go in the contest. Bean over to Reynolds. Reynolds has it. Left hand to Bean for three. Long, no good. Rebound by Mulholland. His shot is up. No, but a foul on Coleman. His second, team's third, and with two made free throws, Austin P will reclaim the lead. They gotta make him, though. Mulholland's first free throw. Up. And good. We're tied at 38. One fourteen left to go. In this first overtime. 
Second foul shot by Milano. No good rebound. Clays it up ahead to Marks. And get finally gets it up ahead to Castro. As they will reset this. Austin P goes to a 2-3 zone. Marks has it. Meade, top of the key, to Coleman. Coleman, left-hand side, gets it to Marks. To Castro, he'll shoot a three. In and out, no good. Rebound, Wingate. Wingate up ahead to Bean. Bean to Reynolds. Reynolds has it. Under a minute to play. Bean, right-hand side. Left-hand side, excuse me. Up to Evans. Evans drives on Coleman. His shot is up and in. 36.3 left to go, and Austin P leads 30 to, or 48 to 38. Meade has it. Castro to Coleman. Coleman tries to drive baseline. Denied. Reverses it to Castro for three. In and out. No good rebound to Evans. Up ahead to Bean. And Bean is going to be fouled by Klaza. 20.1 left to go. And it's Austin P 40, Eastern Illinois 38. Eastern Illinois had their chances here as Wingate has it. Turnaround jumper is good off the eye, off the backboard. Wingate finish has 14 points. Up ahead of Meade. Meade will drive all the way. Slam at home. 13.5. It's still a two-point ball game with 13 seconds left. Evans has it up ahead of Bean. Bean will be fouled by Castro. That's Castro. Castro's first foul, fifth team foul, nine seconds remaining. Eastern Illinois has to foul quickly. They get it down low to Evans to Mullallen, and he's fouled with 6.7 left. Castro picks up his second foul, sixth team foul. 6.7 on the clock. Austin P up 42-40. Evans to inbound. Gets it low to Reynolds. He'll lay it up and in. And that should do it. Coleman gets it up ahead to Burke. Burke, last second three. Good. But it's not going to matter as Eastern Illinois will fall short here. Burke fouls just a second too late. And Austin P can extend this lead. Eight tenths of a second remaining. Reynolds, first foul shot. Is good. 45-43. Reynolds has one more to make it a three-point game. His second one is good as well. Again, eight-tenths of a second, so it has to be a catch-and-shoot for Eastern Illinois. Very possible with in the right hands. Burke gets it and calls time out with only a tenth of a second coming off the clock. Now they get it at half court. Coleman to trigger the inbounds. Burke, three. Short, no good. And that's how this game is going to end. Austin P escapes at 46 to 43 final. Losing in overtime is always tough. This one especially so. Let's go ahead and look at the stats. Burke finishes with 20, Castro with 12, and Meade with 6. The top three leading scores. That's going to do it for this episode, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all in the next one.